Good morning guys, how are we all doing? So I'm Dan from Trading with Dan. This is our Bitcoin morning update. So if you guys wouldn't mind smashing that like button and we shall go straight over to those Bitcoin four hour charts. Well, there we have it, um, Bitcoin on the four hour. As you can see, um, we broke above, uh, well, we broke above this downward sloping trend line, had a nice accelerated move to the upside, took out this high here um made a made a beeline straight for the next level um which we just got front run at um came back down lost this trend line um, which then accelerated no, not sorry not this trend line lost this horizontal um, which then accelerated a move back to the downside where we literally tapped um pretty much to pretty much to to the dot um our downward sloping trend line as a back test and also this um support, old support level here and then bounce back up um to try and well to try and take back out this horizontal so at the moment um we are we are we are basically um ranging um within um this area i would say we broke above had a bit of price action above broke back below um and are still holding below this um below this um basically 60k level um which again is pretty much what i was kind of looking at is that we were gonna we we're gonna hang around around these levels um until um cme is open and um, potentially um we'll have a gap that we will then potentially close um but yeah um you, you as usual um sort of reversion to the mean price action for the weekend um, but yeah, it's good to see the levels respected, break this trend line, um, break, hit this horizontal, break this horizontal, pretty much hit this horizontal, lose, break this horizontal, touch this horizontal and then bounce off there and and yeah, just playing ping pong between the levels. Um, but yeah, overall, overall it is looking good. Um, whilst ever we are basically holding above um, 58 and a half. Um, that is where I have been saying Bitcoin is uh, pretty much bullish above 58 and a half, which we are holding nicely above at the moment. Obviously, it's only a thousand dollars above. Um, we could come back. We could come back and lose it. Um, we could then potentially be looking at a um, at a test down to um, this trend line. Um, well, and then if we lose that, we'll be looking at lower levels. But um, obviously, we've got that Coinbase listing this week, so we have got catalysts. Um, catalysts. So. Um, and then we also have buy the rumor sell the fat catalyst, but uh, hey, <laughs> we, we'll, we'll have to just see what happens um, happens regarding that. Um, but yeah, um, just usual weekend um, weekend price action here, as you can see, general rever reversion reversion around the mean, um, wicking people out of positions. Um, those weekend these those weekend traders um, don't definitely don't have it as easy as um, as the um, as the weekday ones. Um, but yeah, um, let's have a look at that um, good old Ethereum Bitcoin still holding within its range as you can see here. We're looking to um, break out at some point and then have a nice uh, trending move. Obviously, we hope it's to the upside, um, but it could be easily to the downside. So we'll just have to keep an eye on that. Um, the Ethereum USD pairing as well holding up nicely. Um, holding up nicely at highs. I mean, generally looking good. I mean, generally markets are looking good. Um, Bitcoin um, on the CMEs. All I will note on the CMEs is that we have that um, IPO, not IPO, um, direct listing um, coming in here. Um, and we have coming in this week and we are on a, a weekly nine. So, um, yeah, a weekly nine and an aggressive 13 as well, actually. Um, not that I watch these too much, but it is just another potential sell signal. You get you aggressive and then you combo um, and then the sequential ones. But um, but yeah, as you can see, um, we are on um, on a on a nine on a TD nine. Um, so, yeah. Um, are we going to get some sideways to down here potentially um, and then when we break back above this nine candle are we then going to get the acceleration to the upside um, potentially so something to watch out for there um, yeah I mean basically it's something to watch out for um, so we will also um, have a yeah have a quick look at the stochastic there's not much else to do or say or look at this morning in all fairness um let's go and just see if they are how what are they what are they gonna say are they saying that we are gonna basically get back above the 60k and continue what was or are we ta or are we gonna are we gonna trade this range and potentially fall lower i mean four hour is obviously looking um is a drag on price at a price action as you can see at the moment 
Um, a 10 hour, I suspect 10 hours may be starting to turn back over. Yeah, 10 hour turning back over as well. Um, so yeah, 10 hour could, um, if we um, stay where we are, start to drag price down as well. But 12 hour and I assume daily now, we're going to be looking, oh, no, actually daily not. So um, I thought daily would have managed to turn this around. Um, so 12 hour, <laughs> obviously um, playing against the um, the 4, 10 and daily and the 12 hour is. So obviously we kind of have to have a bearish bias um, based on the uh, based on the overall um, posture of them uh, on the whole, um, so yeah, I mean what that does kind of tell me is that we are going to at the very least trade sideways in here. Um, ideally, looking for a bullish reset of those stochastics so they can eventually come well come down and eventually turn back up, and then we can have a drive to the upside. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean it's pretty much. Um, it's pre that is pretty much indicating to me um, that we are still trading sideways within this um, within this larger larger range of um, of well I mean pretty much um, we could call it even 62 to 52 this 10k range we could potentially be looking at um, maybe even um, looking to come and test this trend line maybe even losing that trend line and coming down to 52 and just trading sideways we will I think we will at the very least whether it's directional or not. Um, have volatility um, due to the Coinbase listing um, so it could be upside could be downside I mean and then it could just be both so eventually ultimately just sideways but um, I think we are going to get a bit of volatility based on that um, it is a it is a date people are looking at so um, so yeah um, I mean is is a potentially a big week um, a big week um, next week to see what happens obviously we are sat populating um, um levels um high levels and also we are obviously clearly in a macro trend um coinbase um coinbase listing clearly is not a bad thing for crypto as a whole legitimizing it as a as a as a as an entity um so um yeah i mean we'll draw more we'll draw more eyes to it um so um you obviously have to have a bullish bias overall. Um, obviously, at any point, we could get one of our um, 30 to 40 percent corrections. Interestingly, let's have a look at where that would be just from here. Um, not saying that this is going to happen, but really, well, realistically, from our recent highs, pretty much a 30. Yeah, I mean, there we go. Um, it takes us down to 40. Um, a 30 percent, a 25 percent brings us down to 46. I mean, you. I mean, looking at this. Um, if we were just to trade sideways for a bit in a wider range, even with a low potentially of around 40k, uh, it's not it's not looking the worst. It wouldn't be looking the worst um, for some um, sideways ranging in price action um, and then eventually breaking onwards and upwards. Not that I'm saying that's going to happen because ultimately this does look um, very bullish. This does look like on a, uh, there's a, high, a lot higher likelihood um that we are going to just break to the upside before we then um then test some um some real downside so um that is all i will say but just um if any anywhere realistically above this um 41k i know i pretty much drew my level at 43k same below there but i mean realistically we could just call this 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 box we've got here so um 40k we'll call it um we we could we could literally be looking um at trading between 40k and 60k for a bit um before um and then deciding to break onwards and upwards or um conversely deciding to break down and go into a bear market so there are um there are things to look at that is not what i'm looking at at the moment that is just what i am kind of looking at um obviously as we play it level by level if we do start to break down um we could really seriously start to get people um pretty um <laughs> pretty pretty um, bearish if we were to come anywhere anywhere down to these levels and that could um, ultimately be a be a be a be a, a very good uh, potential buying opportunity um, so we'll have to see how it plays out um, like I said I, this is not what I think is the likely scenario I think the most likely scenario is we are gonna make our way deep into the 60 Ks um, and then and then we can potentially maybe blow off a bit into the 70 Ks and then have this sort of 62 60, 60 to 62 k level as a as a basing point for um the next higher consolidation um yeah so that's potentially what could happen but all i will say is that what does could look, look nice and orderly for price action bitcoin bitcoin usually just does something crazy so i mean we can't just rule out breaking above 60k and then going up to about 100k 
um, over like literally like a few weeks um, because um, a Bitcoin is a wild horse like that. So um, yeah, not not too much. Um, not too much in the way of a useful, actionable analysis in this video. It is Sunday. Not a lot is happening. We are waiting for basically to see how next week plays out. Um, but yeah, interest, interesting times. Looking good for crypto. Looking good for crypto. Also, don't forget if we do start to trade, to consolidate trade sideways within one of the range, um, it could start to um, um, look very good. Not that altcoins are not looking very good, but could start to look um, increasingly good. Good. Good, gooder <laughs> but yeah you can see we are literally making a bee light we are looking like we are making this is on the weekly looking like we have got um we've got nothing but air until down to down to the low 50s um so that would be a spectacular run for altcoins um if we were to get down to here um so there is uh there is potentially um lots and lots of opportunity in crypto at the moment um so yeah we will sh we shall all see how this plays out um so thank you for listening guys hope you guys are having a great weekend remember this is not financial advice i'm not a financial advisor always do your own research and i shall speak to you fine gentlemen and ladies soon